Hello students. Hope you are doing well and taking good care of yourself. Today we are going to start the remaining topics of the chapter more on spreadsheets. First topic is autofill. Autofill feature in MS Excel provides an easy way to fill in empty cells. After entering information in one or two cells, you can drag the fill handle that is the small box in the lower right corner of the current selection across multiple cells to automatically fill them in with similar data. Autofill can be used for both rows that is horizontally or columns that is vertically. It can detect several different patterns which can save time when creating new spreadsheets. We can create numeric data series as well as series of dates, days of weeks or months of year. To create a numeric data series, we should follow the given steps. Step 1 is enter the first two values of data into two adjacent cells and select both the cells. As you can see in the image, we have entered the first two values 1 and 2. Step second is click the fill handle present on the lower right corner of the selected cells and drag it to be and drag it to enclose the desired area to be filled with the series of numbers. In the first image you can see the plus sign. It's a fill handle sign. When you drag it to the series of cells, these cells will get filled automatically. As in the image, we had entered the first two values as 1 and 2 and when we, and when, <coughs> when autofill feature was used, it displays the series from 1 to 12. Next is to create predefined series of days. For creating a predefined series of days, we should follow the given steps. Step 1 is enter the first values of the series in a cell and select it. Like as an image, we have selected the first value of cell as Monday. Step second is click the fill handle and drag it to enclose the desired area to fill with the series of data. When we have entered the first value as mo Monday, then we use the autofill feature and the days of the week gets automatically filled. Next topic is creating custom lists. If you have to work with a spreadsheet that will always have the same list of information or maybe you just don't want to use copy paste every time. It would be most beneficial to have a preset list stored which is known as custom list so that Excel can help you with what you are trying to do. So. To create a custom list, we should follow the given steps. Step 1 is click on File tab, then go to Options. The Excel Options dialog box appears. You can see the option File tab which is at the upper corner of the spreadsheet. When you click on it, this window will get appear, then you have to click on the Options. Then step second is click advanced option from the left pane then edit custom lists under general section. When you click on the option button the next window will get appear. There you have to click advanced option which is shown with the, right, uh, with the red color arrow and then you have to select edit custom lists which is shown with the green color arrow. Next step is type your new list in the end list entry box. You can see the step third uh, with the help, uh, which is showing with red color, ar red color arrow. We have uh, entered the list of entries like CPU, mouse, printer, joystick, microphone, printer, scanner, etc. Then step four is click add button which is shown by, with the, by the yellow arrow. Next is click OK button. When you edit the custom list, then you have to click on OK button that is shown with the help of sky blue color arrow. 
Step 6 is click OK button to close Excel options dialog box. When you add the uh, lists and list of entries, then you have to finally click on OK button to close Excel option dialog box. Next time when you use the uh, fill handle option in spreadsheet, this list will uh, automatically get uh, filled when you click just the first value of the cell that is CPU. Thank you and remember stay home, stay safe and stay healthy.